Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to an add-on called Building Tools that's free and open source that you can use to build basically anything from like a house, a small house, to a, a city building pretty easily and pretty quickly with a couple of clicks. I'll leave a link of the add-on in the description below this video. So I'm going to go to bl Blender. I'm using Blender 2.82. Now you can use, uh, I think they've made a version of this for 2.79, but I don't have access to that at this point. Uh, but for this version of the add-on, it's for 2.8 and above. And in order to activate F, you've downloaded it onto your, to your computer. To install it in Blender, go to Edit. Go to Preferences. And then go to Install. And just navigate to where you, you've downloaded the uh, add-on. And after you've done that, click on Install Add-on. Once you've done that, it should pop up in uh, this window here. Let me type in Building. And there it is. And then you just uh, activate it by clicking in this checkbox. And once that's done, you can open up Blender. And it should be on the right-hand side of the user interface in the toolbar section. And then we're going to delete this cube. Press Delete on your keyboard. And then we're going to press uh, activate the add-on by clicking on that. And from the the pop-out menu, create create uh, click on create floor plan. And then when this comes up, it gives you options on <coughs> excuse me what kind of floor plan you want. And here it's rectangular. You just go to this uh, side menu pop-up and let's click on this. And from the pop-up menu, you can click on random, H-shape, composite, circular, rectangular. Uh, let's click on random. You can change how the floor plan looks by changing the seed number. Let's make it, let's see, 5 looks pretty good. You can change the width of it and also the length. Let's make it a little bit longer, a little wider. Let's uh, minimize that. And you can see that all these other options have been grayed out. That's because they haven't been activated. And the way you can activate them is go to uh, go into edit mode in Blender. So you press tab. You know, as your object is highlighted in orange, press tab. Go into edit mode. And you can click add floors. And once again, this gives you more options. So click on this side menu. You can increase your floor count make it as high as you want um, the floor height also in the individual floor heights make that higher or lower your slab thickness slab outset which means that, that means how wide you want the slab to extend from the main part of the building and you would think that once this has been done you could probably click on add window but nothing happens in order for you to actually access the other options uh, and apply them to this mesh, you have to select a particular side of the mesh. And the best way to do that is go to the face select, go up to here, and click on face select, and then left click the mesh you want to apply any, any of these changes to. So let's add a window to that. It gives you a window. You have to un remember too, every time you click on any of these options, it gives you a um, more variations that you can apply to that option. You can increase the size of the window, uh, the frame depth, the window depth, the count. Let's make this two and add an arch to it by clicking that as arches. Deselect that, it removes the arches. The different fill types, bars, glass panels. I think it's called, I don't know, the louver or, or the loo. I don't, I don't know what, exactly how it's pronounced. You can activate that. And you can apply all these changes to any face of the mesh that you want. And everything is, is uh, can be changed. It doesn't have to be consistent throughout. Let's, let's add, let's click on this. And one thing about this is that when you apply a change like, make a change like one side of it, which is applying two windows, it'll apply those same settings to the second part of the mesh. So if I click on this part of the mesh, I click Add Window. It's going to add two windows just like it is here, which makes it consistent, but you can still change this to something else. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Click on this mesh, add a door. 
can change the size of, of the door, the different design and layout of the door, can make it a double door, add an arch to it. So it's, it's pretty creative, it's pretty versatile, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, you can make a little prayer house if you want. You can make, you know, a skyscraper if you want. Let's click on this side. I'm just messing around with it because this is such a fun add-on to use. Add the balcony. It adds one. You can increase the density of it, the size, the width. Just that's how it all works. Let's click on this side. Add some stairs. Increase the uh, number of stairs. The height and the length, the rail type, everything. It's, so it's pretty. It's pretty great for something that that's open source. And you can also add material. It, it doesn't come with materials, but it, it has material slots. So if we click on this menu, it gives us a drop down. And it has, uh, let's see, stairs. Let's go up to a little bit. Let's go up to windows so I can show you what this actually does. Let's minimize this. So on the windows, when you click on that and you click on the window, you press select, it's going to select all the windows on the mesh. No matter how tall the building is or wide or how many windows you have, it selects all the windows. And you click assign to assign that a material to that window. Now you have to create your own material for uh, this mesh, which is not that hard to do. Just go over to the uh, side panel of material properties, click on that, add new. Let's call this window. enter we're going to pull this down you can see the node editor click on that shader editor scroll up on your mouse wheel to zoom in left click on uh, that node press ctrl t to activate the node wrangler ctrl t g to grab and drag up with your mouse not too high up and this is hasn't been uv unwrapped so you're going to have to either UV unwrap it or just apply the mesh using this technique. So change it from UV, generate it. So left click on that node, hold down and left click and drag it till it uh, attaches to the second node. And change, change this from point to texture. And we're going to click on this open. And we're going to scroll down to where my textures are. So just go to wherever your textures are on your computer. Uh, let's just pick something just uh, let me see just anything would do let me just click on that just for the sake of this tutorial open image and we're going to go to the eve render just so we can see what we've applied what has been applied uh for some reason it's up it's applied that texture to the whole building as opposed to the windows which i don't know why that happened let me let me see Let's, let's just fix this texture anyway. Let's go from flat to box. Okay. That is, I, I don't know if it's a bug or what that is. But let me go to assign. Let me click on that. Maybe I'll assign it to. I actually can see the texture. That texture and the windows. So I don't know why it's applying it to the whole, the whole mesh. Oh, I, I know why, because we haven't defined we haven't defined the other textures. So from the beginning, whenever you are in edit mode in Blender, if you apply a texture in edit mode, it applies that texture to the whole mesh because it, you're not telling it that, okay, other parts of the mesh have other textures. So you, in order to do that, you have to let the computer know that that's what you want to do. So let's go to slabs or let's go to walls. That's what this is. And let's click on one wall and then let's press uh, scroll down, select. Now it selects the walls. And we're going to press assign to that. Let's press plus there and add new. And let's do that again, control T. And then G to grab, pull this up. Turn this from generated or UV to generated from point to texture and then open we're going to pick another texture blender textures let me see something a little bit different uh, let's pick this and then click open image 
and then a sign and it's stretched out so let's fix that and turn this from flat to box and yeah there it is so just keep that in mind because that way you can avoid confusion when you're in edit mode you apply texture the first texture plot you apply to your mesh is going to apply to the whole your whole uh, model until you define the different parts of your model with different texture slots so just keep that in mind so with this texture slot we're going, to, we're going to call it walls enter and let's tab out of edit mode so we can see what this looks like without having the orange highlights on there yeah so that's that's pretty much it let me change this the uh, window part because that's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit it's uh let me left click or b the box select drag over this x delete okay that's better that we can distinguish between the windows and, and the uh the wall so yeah that's it so this is a really nice add-on it does quite a bit um, just for an open source add-on does a great job but with the textures you have to apply the textures yourself it has texture slots but you apply the textures on your own and I have a tutorial over that and I'll put that tutorial um, in the description below this video also so yeah that's my blender quick tip for today which is this uh, add-on called building tools great add-on makes buildings really nicely applies it just the applies windows doors so on and so forth with just a couple of clicks and once again keep it in mind when you have when you apply texture in edit mode it applies to the whole model until you distinguish between each texture with texture slots in this section so yeah so thanks again for you guys listening and once again stay safe if you can stay inside as much as you can just to avoid the whole situation with the coronavirus situation that helps out a lot even if you feel confident that you yourself aren't being affected by it then just keep everyone else in mind you know consider other people and just practice social distancing all right thanks a lot to you guys for listening thank you guys for who have subscribed and the guys who will subscribe in the future appreciate you guys and see you guys on the next one all right adios